Hi, this is Noah with MultifamilyNoah.com. And today I'm in North Fort Myers in an area called Suncoast Estates, where I have this property under contract. Uh, it's zone multifamily, and it currently has two manufactured homes. So here's one right here, and then the other one is right there. Uh, I believe it's on uh, both septic and uh, se um, uh, well, all right? Uh, and uh, one manufactured home you could probably uh, rehab if you don't have the budget to replace both of them. The other one, I would uh, calculate a budget to replace. Uh, what's also nice about this property, if you look on the aerial, which I'll include a photo of, uh, it's on a very large lot, uh, which could be ideal for you know, uh, either a, a buyer who's a contractor who want a, a property for them to live in and rent on the other side, or an investor that uh, can rent it out to uh, some sort of contractor or somebody that has equipment uh, and, and needs that space. So let's go take a look. So this is one right here, which I would just replace. And then there's the other one over there that could be repaired, or if you have the budget, I would replace it. There's a neighbor right there uh, across the street. That manufactured home looks uh, like in pretty good shape. So you got a nice quiet street here, neighborhood. Here's where the two mailboxes would go. But this land is huge. Uh, so if you're an investor, the tenant could be somebody, you know, a contractor that needs a uh, space for their vehicles or work equipment. So this is the one, uh, the, the right side of the manufacturer home in the property. And that's the left one. The left one I would replace. This one, if you don't have the budget, you could uh, fix it up. We'll, we'll take a look inside shortly. Looks like this is where the uh, well equipment was, right? Here's a, uh, there's the outlet, you know, 220. And that right there is, uh, goes to the well. The uh, well equipment isn't here anymore. Um, and then the electric meter is on that side, see? So the electric meter for this property is right here. And then this is the back. The cement pad here, it's in pretty good shape. There's your electric meter, it's the power line, it goes there. Outside looks okay. We'll take a look inside shortly. Replace some of the windows, that, that window's cracked. Property line goes to here, but see all the way back there. That's this property right here. And now let's go take a look at the uh, other property there. So this is the right unit. Um, right here. So this is the right unit. Uh, and you know, if you didn't want to replace both of these homes, that one, you, I would definitely replace this one. looks like it's in, you know, if you don't have the budget to, uh, put new ones, wood solid. Here's a kitchen, right? There's the plumbing. There's a back door. See? Solid floor, just broken windows. Right here's the electrical. It's in good shape, you know. You just gotta get a new panel. Bathrooms, just, I would replace all these cabinets. This bathtub, yeah, this is in pretty good shape. And then here's the closet. But there's no, uh, Looks like there's no leaks. Well, there's some leaks there, but you know, that could be an option is if you buy cash, fix this one up, rent this side, and then have the budget to replace the other one. And I have contacts at, uh, here's the other bathroom. So it's two bathrooms. Here's the bedroom. See this solid wood. 
flooring looks pretty solid. So this is the second bathroom. Here's the flooring. Flooring looks pretty look in decent shape. I would just replace the vanity, maybe this toilet. This shower is pretty in good shape. Wouldn't have to replace that. Even the toilet, I mean. Toilet seat, you know, just replace the toilet seat. Looks like this toilet was replaced some time ago. Nice quiet street. And right there looks like where the other well is. Uh, we'll take a look at this one here first and then check out the well equipment there. So as you can see, this one is in pretty rough shape. Again, I mean, if you could fix it, but depends on your budget. I would just get a used manufactured home that's you know newer so you could get more in rent. Take a picture here. And then back. Just taking a photo real quick. Okay. And then on this one, the electric meter is on the left side right here. There's a pole for the electrical as well as cable. So that's that right there. There's an electric meter right there. And then I will go walk back to the property. See, there's your cable. This is a neighbor, so here's where the line ends. And see, all this is the land, huge land. So here's a, where they had the shed. And some of the well equipment right here. Okay. So here's where that is up in the shed. It looks like it's the shed. It's gonna need a lot of work here. And then, see there's the plumbing for the well. And then right here. So let's walk back to the property. What's interesting about this one is look at some point, they had a third manufactured home here. I don't, don't think it was legal because if you look in Lipa, it says two buildings. Let's see, right here, there's a pole. <clears throat> so that power line goes here. And then, see how all this right here. And then, see, that looks like they had a meter there. So, uh, and then here is the cement pad property line goes all the way to here huge lots of space for being creative so if you're interested give me a call and let's do a deal